to Team Keep It Clean. It's St. Graven here with another episode of NFL Questions from Subs, where you can ask any NFL question and we answer it in a video like this. If you want to be part of it, you can send me an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com or for the patrons. You could just send it directly on Patreon. And if you would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. And if you don't want to, that's fine as well. I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. Y'all brought it as always. Let's see what you brought. First question, and just straight up, straightforward. He ain't even put nothing in the body of the email. He put everything in the in the subject line. When will Lamar Jackson get paid? It came from my guy Emmanuel. So this is a uh, great question because this question it, it had been brought up so many times. It has been brought up so many times, um, but especially the the way that this season went, it made it even more tricky because. First, early in the season, uh, Lamar was doing his thing. Um, he was just, sometimes it was ugly, other times it wasn't. The numbers weren't always pretty. I mean, minus that Colts game, but that, that Colts game, the numbers were like almost perfect. But the numbers weren't always pretty, but you could just see Lamar Jackson's value to this team continue to increase. And something that we've been saying since last year, said that every season, Every game, every day, Lamar Jackson's value to the Ravens is going to keep going up. His price tag is going to keep going up. And then this year, we saw that because he just kept finding ways to win. They just kept finding ways to win under Lamar Jackson. So then things changed. Things changed because Lamar Jackson, he got an injury that took him out for the remainder of the season. And this, like early on in the season, his value kept going up. But this injury is crazy because usually you would think an injury will make somebody's value decrease. Nope. Not at all. Because this injury actually increased Lamar Jackson's value to the Ravens more than ever. More than ever. The Ravens, I believe, under Lamar Jackson this year in games decided by one score. Uh, they were five and one with that one loss being to the Raiders. He, he did get blown out by the uh, by the Bengals um, and then the Dolphins game. That was more than they lost that by more than one score, too. Um, but Lamar Jackson, he he showed you like, hey, you, you know who I am. You know what I'm worth. You know what I do for your team. I mean, you know what I did for your coach back in 2018. But anyway, Lamar Jackson's worth is through the roof. But then when he went out. Think that the whole thing flip flop with games that were decided by one score. They went like I think one in five, something like that. Down, it was something like that. I forgot what it was, but bottom line is they just with Lamar Jackson they kept finding ways to win, especially those close games. But without Lamar Jackson, they kept finding ways to lose, especially those close games. And with an injury, with him being out, his value went. Because Lamar Jackson showed these Ravens, and the Ravens also showed Lamar Jackson, that they cannot do it without him. They cannot get it done without him. So many people have said it, and it seems as if it is true because you look at the results. Lamar Jackson covers up a lot of deficiencies for the Baltimore Ravens. Is Lamar Jackson the best quarterback in the league? No, he's not. Was he playing like the best quarterback in the league this year? Because we know it's all about what have you done for me lately. No, he wasn't. But Lamar Jackson, despite having some things that he definitely needs to improve on. Yes, we know he was holding on to that ball too long. But then you also know a lot of these routes that were these, these long, slow developing routes. Even though you got a bad offensive line, the reason that the Ravens continue to call those with Lamar in the center. I don't know. But Lamar Jackson covers up so much for the Ravens, and he literally has been saving this team. Ever since he stepped onto the field, he has been saving this team. When your players are out, and we know like it was a million players out this year, a million, so many players were out this season, and we get that. And I know some people will be like, oh, well, look at the Titans. The Titans lost more players than the Ravens did. 
More players played in games for the Titans than they played for the Ravens. And that is true. The Titans did lose more players. They lost uh, Julio Jones, who, I mean, we know his history, especially with them hammies. Uh, they lost A.J. Brown for a little bit, too. But the biggest guy that they lost was Derrick Henry. And he is their team. But they still found a way to win even without Derrick Henry. And they even got, with all the guys that got hurt, they even still got the number one. They managed to get the number one seed, not in their division, not in the AFC South, but in the AFC in the conference. They got the number one seed. And that's amazing. Shout out to the Titans. But when people compare the Titans injuries and the Ravens injuries, I get it by number, but not by value. Not by value. The, the, the Titans, they, again, they, they suffered a lot of injuries, and we know that, and we respect that because they still did their thing. Um, but Ravens' injuries that they suffered were more significant. We don't have to go down the whole list. Y'all already know everybody who they lost and so much significance that they lost. Starters at literally every single position on offense obviously the quarterback you lost all three of your running backs uh you lost the wide receiver and Rashad Bateman for a while you lost Sammy Watkins for a while now they both end up coming back which was great but you lost both of them for uh, long periods of time um tight end with Nick Boyle with him uh, again I, I think I said Ronnie Stanley already but if I didn't then let me mention Ronnie Stanley Pat McCarry Tyree Phillips Ben Cleveland uh, yeah. I don't even feel like continuing because y'all know. The, and, and we only got started with some of the offensive players. Y'all know the defense is a long list as well. Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, Deshaun Elliott, LJ Fort. It, let's just stop right there. So the Ravens injuries that they suffered were more significant than the Titans. In, in my opinion, Titans suffered more, but Ravens suffered worse. Um, but with these injuries... Uh, the Ravens just, when you have so many people that are hurt and when you are down, this is when, in my opinion, coaching matters the most. This is where it matters the most because it's easier to coach seasoned guys, veteran guys, guys that been around the block a little bit in the NFL, guys that done been there, done. It's, it's easier when they're veterans, but when they're young guys, that lack experience, this is when coaching matters the most because it's your responsibility as a coach to coach them up. It's your responsibility, even though these guys, they lack experience, they don't have the exposure that a lot of your previous guys had, and, and you weren't planning on them playing, so that's understandable, but at the same time, you know the situation, you have to adjust. So it's important that you put those guys in the right situations and in, in the best situations to succeed. I do not feel like the Ravens coaching staff did that with a lot of their backups this year. That was on offense. That was on defense. Uh, and that was just with a lot of the, the decision making as well. So with that being said, uh, Lamar Jackson, he covers up so much because of his ability he covers up so much, even from the coaching staff. His value is crazy right now. It's crazy right Even though he was nursing this bone bruise, his because you, you never hear stuff like it, it. It's not supposed to work like this. It's not. No player, star player, regular player, what? no player's value is supposed to increase when they have an injury. But Lamar Jackson certainly did. It certainly did, and there's no question about that at all. None. Like I said earlier, were his stats the prettiest? No, of course not. This guy threw more interceptions in this season alone in less games than he did, I think, combined the, the, the past couple of seasons. And it, it just, it, it wasn't on pace to be this pretty, uh, th this pretty uh, statistical season from Lamar Jackson. He was going to throw for more yards than, than he's uh, thrown for before in the entirety of his career. 
I mean, and it has only really been uh, two, four years, even though last year he missed the game. And then the year before that, he sat out like <laughs> like 54th quarters, a lot of third quarters, too. But anyway, uh, <laughs> shout out to all them blowouts. Oh, 2019 was just fun time. Anyway, um, let's get serious again. Well, we never too serious. But with Lamar Jackson this year, statistically, it was not going to be pretty. It wasn't pretty. But bottom line they were finding ways to win. They were finding ways to win. And when Lamar Jackson went out, they couldn't find those anymore. They couldn't. So, when the, the question again, when will Lamar Jackson get paid? Because again, it is a great question. It is a, a just phenomenal question. And, and, and there were a lot of people, uh, somebody in the comment section yesterday, they were like, okay, so when are we getting that video on Lamar Jackson's contract? And I looked at that comment. I was like, what, what are they talking about? So then I uh, went to sleep, woke up this morning, and saw that somebody had, um, somebody had did one of them little trolls where they, uh, they, they tweet, oh, congrats to Lamar Jackson. They, they tweeted as if they were the Baltimore Ravens, changed their avatar to being the Ravens, and they tweeted as if they were the Ravens. They said, oh, congrats to Lamar Jackson for $267 million, I mean, $267 million contract. Da -da -da -da. Congrats, LJ Air 8. Da -da -da. And uh, see, I saw a lot of people, they, they took the bait. And I, then I was like, oh, that's what the person in the comment section was probably talking about. They probably saw that on Twitter and they got okie doked and they fell for it. And it can be easy because you see a bunch of people liking it. It comes up in your feed and it's like, whoa, Lamar got paid. But you, you got you to gotta really look. You got to really pay attention. Um, so, no, he did not get paid yet. He is under contract for next year. He has the fifth year option. And that, I believe it's about 23 mil fully guaranteed. Um, so... He's under contract, but I think now with this injury, it, it did certainly increase his value. But I think that the two sides, I, I think they're going to put stuff off for a little bit. And what I believe happens. Um, oh, it's, it's very tricky. It's very, very tricky. But I think that with the Ravens, um, they know like. Yeah, we, we, we need him. Now, I have seen one thing that I have seen a lot of people say, and I've said it myself too, but got to realize like Lamar Jackson, he's Lamar Jackson, and he's a professional. Uh, a professional is in their profession because they like it, because they love it, because they enjoy it, but they're also in their profession to make money. Now, I have said myself that I obviously want Lamar Jackson to get paid. We'd love for him to get paid. We'd love for him to get his bread. We'd love for him to get his contract, but... I do not want to see Lamar Jackson sort of stuck in a situation. Um, I would love to see Lamar Jackson in, in the best situation that's best for him, best for his career, best for his future. But and, and it apparently because Sarah, Sarah, uh, Sarah Ellison, shout out to Sarah Ellison. She said that Kwaju Ishmael said that Lamar Jackson turned down a couple of offers from the Ravens already. That's that's what she said. He said. So I don't know. I didn't see anything, but I would believe her. Because she, she don't just be saying stuff just to say it. So she said that Lamar Jackson done turned down money from the Ravens already. But, um, and, and, and big money too. But with Lamar Jackson, I, as, a, as a fan, you want him to be in the best situation possible. So I know a lot of people, including myself, like if, if Greg Roman is an offensive coordinator, and not even just Greg Roman being an offensive coordinator, if Ravens still have this same philosophy where they don't value the offense like they should, where they don't put in the work for the offense like they should. And it, it just, then I, I would not want him to re-sign and be stuck with the same old, same old stuff from the Ravens. Now, I'm not saying I want him to leave the Ravens. I would say I want the Ravens to really change their philosophy, especially when it comes to offense. Especially when it comes to offense. Because if it's going to be the same old stuff, and it's like, oh, oh boy. But with Lamar Jackson, if Ravens offer him a deal, that's good for him. Whether Greg Roman's here or not, whether Harbaugh's here or not, whether whoever's here or not, whether they still got the same old philosophy or not, if the Ravens offer him a deal that's good for him, I can't be mad if he takes it. I ain't going to be mad if he takes it. Like, he's trying to get paid. 
And we know Lamar Jackson's all nice, Lamar Jackson's all humble, and that's great. But Lamar Jackson is also a professional. So professionals, they, they ain't doing work for free. They, they trying to get money. They trying to get paid. They trying to get their bread. So if the Ravens come up with a deal that's good for him, by all means, do your thing, my friend. Um, and I would think that once he's healthy, like in the offseason, I would think um, the next time where it's the highest chance of, it, of a deal with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens happening, I would say before the regular season starts next year. So I, I, I could see it happening then because it's, it's, the price only going to go up. It's only going to go up. It ain't going down. Trust me. Again, even with the injury, it's, the price ain't going down. You're done. Like the cheapest that you could have got Lamar for, that's over. That's long gone. Price only going up. Despite what the numbers were looking like, despite the bone bruise in his ankle, despite all of that, the price is only going up. So Ravens, they, ooh, they better figure that thing out fast. I mean, technically, they could take their time because you have him under contract next year. Then the following year, if it really came down to that, I don't expect it to. But if it really came down to that, they don't have to sign him next year. They could wait. Then they could franchise tag him. Then they could franchise tag him again. Now, that would cost a lot of money. And it would almost kind of be like doing a deal. Because those franchise tags are the, uh, the average of the top five played payers. I mean, the top five paid players at that quarterback position. Well, at whatever position you franchise tag. And obviously with Lamar Jackson him being a quarterback, then he would get the average salary of whatever the top five people at quarterback make. So he would still be getting his bread, but it would only be for one year. You know, that's why a lot of players hate the franchise tag because it's only for one year. It's not a long term commitment. It's, it's not the team telling you, hey, we love you. We value you. This is a long term. No, this is a one year deal. One year deal. That's it. It's guaranteed. Great. But it's only for one year. So we've seen with franchise tag, it could get ugly, but I, I don't en envision or anticipate it getting to a franchise tag between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson because he knows, they know, we know how valuable he is to this team. So whether the Ravens do it ASAP or they take their time with it, again, the longer you take, the higher price goes up. So I'm sure they'll make a, uh, a smart, good, wise decision, uh, but they, they better make it pretty fast. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, gotta made it. Well, that's my homie, ain't that right and grave it, right and grave it. Shout out to engraving.